everyone, Kibby King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video, an updated video on how to root your Samsung Epic 4G on the latest Gingerbread Build FC09. So what we're going to need to do is go ahead and press menu, go to settings, scroll down, go to about phone. You'll see you are on Gingerbread FC09 right there. That would be the latest build. Uh, what we're going to need to do to root it is actually there's a quick some files we're going to need to download on our PC. So what we're going to need to do is go ahead and click on the first link in the description of the video. The first link is going to take you to this website. This website has nothing to do with rooting, so make sure you don't follow any instructions. I'm just taking you to this site to download a couple of the files we're going to need. So the first file we're going to need is the Epic 4G drivers file. So you'll see Epic 4G drivers right here. Click on that and download it and then install your drivers on your PC. So that's the first step. I'm not going to show you how to do that. Uh, if you need help, just let me know. But first, click on the drivers, download them, and install them on your PC. Once you're done with that, um, go ahead and download the Odin 3 V185 file. So we're going to need to download this as well. So these are the only two files you need. Disregard any other things. But uh, install your drivers on your PC and then go ahead and download this Odin 3 file. And next, after you're done there, go ahead and click on the next link in the description of the video. It will take you to this site with the uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery file, tar file right here. Go ahead and scroll down. Keep scrolling down and you will see Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7 right there. Epic 4G tar.md5. Click on that file. It'll download it right away. So just click on that file and we're going to need that as well. And then go ahead and click on the next link in the description of the video. It will take you to this website. Big shout out to Kenny Glass 123 um, and what this is is basically the pre-rooted uh, FC09 ROM for us. So you'll see there's two versions, an MTD and BML. If you don't know the difference between the two, I recommend just downloading the BML one. So click down here and download that. It'll be another zip file. Make sure you've got that downloaded as well. Um, if you do know, know the difference, you can choose which one you want, but I recommend BML to those that don't know. Uh, so once you have all of those files downloaded, we're just about ready to go. Go ahead and go into your downloads folder. And inside your downloads folder, you will see that there is that, uh, that tar file, the ROM file, and the Odin 3 file. So what we're going to need to do first is go ahead and mount your phone and plug it into your PC. So plug it on in while it's on. Uh, plug it on in and then go ahead and hit mass storage and hit connect PC storage. Hit OK. Once done there, it should pop up on our PC and we're going to need to transfer this DX FC09 BML file or MTD, depending on which one you download it, over to our removable disk. So just click and drag and transfer that on over to removable disk. I already have it on there, so I'm not going to. So that's the first thing we're going to need to do. Once done there, just go ahead and press disconnect from storage and then unplug it from your PC once it's disconnected. Uh, once done there, go ahead and go to your desktop actually. And once we're on our desktop, we're going to create a new folder. So go ahead and hit new and then folder. So make a new folder and you can just call it Epic Root if you want. So just call it Epic Root. It doesn't matter what you want to call it. Once you have that folder, go back into your downloads folder actually and click and transfer that uh, Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7 file into that folder right there. Once done there, now we're going to need to double click on Odin 3. If it doesn't open up, we're going to need to download a file such as 7-zip if you can't open it up. But anyways, once you have Odin 3 and uh, right there, open it on up. We're going to need to transfer the bottom two files, the Odin 3 and Odin 3 1.85. You don't need to transfer the instructions over, but down transfer these two files into our Epic Root folder. So once done there, we're just about ready to go. Double click on the, our uh, Epic Root folder, and inside you'll see those three files we already transferred. Go ahead and right click on our Odin 3 file and hit run as administrator and hit yes. Once it opens on up, we can go back to our phones actually and go ahead and just power off our device. So go ahead and hit power off and hit OK. So just power off your Epic 4G. While that's powering down, we're going to go ahead and get Odin all set up for us. So to set up Odin, this is Odin. We are going to need to press the PDA box here on the right side. And then it should take us into that epic root folder. If not, navigate to it. That is on the desktop. So go into back into that folder and double click on that Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7 tar file. Double click on that. It should go into the PEA slot with it checked. And then, then here on the left side, we're going to need to uncheck auto reboot. So make sure auto reboot is unchecked and nothing else is checked here on the left side. So make sure everything's unchecked over here. 
and we only have the clockwork mod file and the PDA slot of Odin. Once done there, we are ready to go. Go ahead and go ahead and put our phone into download mode. Press and hold the one button and the power button at the same time. Press and hold both of them. It will take us into download mode, which is needed to uh, use Odin on the Epic. And once done there, go ahead and plug our phone into our PC. So plug it on in while it's in download mode. And once you do that, you should see a yellow box pop up in Odin right there. It should say COM and then a number. It doesn't matter what the number is, but it should be a yellow box saying COM. Uh, if it doesn't, it might be installing drivers. As I said, um, you, you, some troubleshooting tips is cable along with uh, different USB ports and reinstalling drivers. So those are your troubleshooting tips if Odin doesn't recognize your device. The cable is the main one. Usually the cable is bad if uh, PC is not recognizing your your phone. But anyways, once you get it recognized, we are just about ready to go. We're going to go ahead and hit the start button. So go ahead and hit start. It'll go ahead and uh, put a blue bar on our phone's progress bar along with a green one in Odin and then it should reset and then it'll say pass. But as you can see, our phone's not going to automatically reboot because we unchecked auto reboot. So it'll be stuck on this screen. So what we're going to need to do is go ahead and go back to our phones now. All right, and once we are back to our phones, we can go ahead and unplug it since Odin already said pass. And once we are done there, uh, we're going to need to take the battery on out. So go ahead and pop the battery out because that's our way to get out of download mode. Pop it on out, and now make sure you don't boot it back up yet. What we're going to need to do is go ahead and press and hold volume down, camera button, and power button at the same time. Press and hold all three of them at the same time. So keep them all held down until the bottom backlit keys light up. So keep it held down, keep it held down. And then once those light up, go ahead and let go. And once we let go there, as you can see, it takes us into our new custom-based recovery, clockwork mod-based recovery. So let's go ahead and learn how to use this. So you, to navigate through, you use the volume, volume up and down buttons and the camera button to select what you want to select. So what we're going to need to do now is install that FC09 pre-rooted ROM. So go ahead and press the volume down button until you get to install zip from SD card and press the camera button to select it. And then go ahead and hit choose it from SD card with the camera button. And then go ahead and scroll to where that uh, FC09 uh, file is. Let me go ahead and see what it's named. I can't remember what uh, what he named it. Um, it's FC09 DX FC09 BML zip or MTD zip. So you got DX FC09 BML zip. Um, so we will need to select that file right there. And you'll see it's right there. It brings us to this uh, page. Go ahead and scroll down until you hit yes, install that zip. So go ahead and hit yes. It'll go ahead and install the full ROM. It should not wipe any data whatsoever. It should just go ahead and overwrite everything, keep the same apps, etc. I had an ES File Explorer app on my home screen. I'll show you that that's still there. Everything will be the same. But this will basically just overwrite your ROM and it will be pre-rooted. You also will keep Clockwork Mod. So if you want to flash any other ROM, you can. If you wanted to flash a specific ROM, you can just flash that ROM now. You don't need to with certain different steps, of course. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let this install. And once it is done, I will be back. All right, as you can see, install from SD card complete. It is done. Now go ahead and hit the back backlit button right here to go back. And then go ahead and select Reboot System now with the camera button. So it'll go ahead and reboot your Epic 4G. Um, once it reboots, you should actually just be rooted. You'll have Clockwork Mod Based Recovery still, and uh, you will still be basically stock rooted, and that would be it. So I'm going to go ahead and let this boot up. It'll take a little bit of time to boot up the first time just because it's a, after you install that, that pre-rooted ROM. So go ahead and let it boot up, and then I will be back once it's done. All right, so as you can see, my phone has booted up. It did take longer than usual, as I stated. So go ahead and unlock it. Looks like a Zine Launcher came with it. You can go ahead and uninstall it if you don't want it. But anyways, you got uh, go into your TouchWiz Launcher. It will be the, all the same. As you can see, yes, File Explorer is still there on my home screen. It's All my data was saved. No, no, no differences there, which is nice. So, I mean, I'll go back into Settings, scroll down, go to About Phone. You'll see I still have FC09 right there in my build version. And in my app drawer, I should have the Super User app um, which is right there so there you have it super user is right there i am now fully rooted 
uh, my Samsung Epic 4G. I do have Clockwork Mod as well in case you want to install other ROMs, etc. But that would be it. So that would be how to root your Samsung Epic 4G, the latest method on FC09. If you run into any problems, have any questions, just leave a comment. I'll be happy to help you guys out. Uh, be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.